This is Regina Curran of Antenatal Plus, and she is a midwife and complementary therapist. Okay, ovulation is the release of an ovum or egg from the ovary and is part of the menstrual cycle. It occurs usually 14 days before your period starts. Um, so the menstrual cycle starts at the day your period, the first day of your menstrual period until the first day of the next period is when the next cycle starts. To track, to know when you ovulate, there are lots of signs and symptoms that you can get, but the main thing is to track your cycle and see when you get your period, then work back 14 days from that. The average menstrual cycle is 28 days recorded in all books, however a lot of women vary from this and some women have a shorter cycle, some women have a longer cycle. Okay, so tracking your menstrual cycle, so you go from the first day of your period until the first day of your next period and count the number of days and work 14 days back. There will also be a lot of body changes that may occur and that you may become sensitive to while you are tracking your cycle. You may notice you become a little bit bloated around the time of ovulation. You may notice, notice some water retention. You may also notice some pain in the side of the ovary that's um, ovulating. You should also track your cervical mucus. So the mucus in your vagina um, changes with the cycle of your period. And you can learn how to not, know what the mucus is like when you're ovulating. Your body temperature also changes, so we talk about basal body temperature. So this is your body temperature first thing in the morning before you get out of bed, before you do anything. So you, as soon as you wake and you just pop in a, a thermometer in your mouth or use an electronic one um, and check your temperature. There should be a slight rise in your body temperature when you ovulate. So when calculating your ovulation date, it is 14 days prior to the day your period starts. So if you know when, if you've tracked your cycle and you know what your cycle is like, you can predict it. As you know your period is due, say, on the 20th of the month, you work back 14 days, that means you ovulate on the 6th of that month. And that's how you calculate ovulation.